Jonathan with Iron Mind Hypnosis here. A lot of times in life, it's important to let people know how important things are, how they impact us, what, what matters to us, what's, what's going on for us uh, in our emotional space, so that they can help sort priority. And so communicating what's going on for us is, is hugely important. Communicating that to the people who possibly can help us is, is, uh, helps us get better service, helps people know why what they're doing matters, why something might be worth an extra effort. And once you've communicated what's going on for you, if your emotions are still running high, maybe you're frustrated, maybe, uh, maybe you've even uh, recently gone for a run, uh, trying to make something happen. And you've got some confidence that people understand what it is we're hoping to make happen. Well, and there's no need to push further. Once they're doing their best job, you can breathe. Perhaps you can look into the distance and find something interesting. Maybe it'll be closer, maybe some wall art or a calendar or something like that. And just let people do their best for you as you do your best for you as well. And I in no way promise that you'll get magic answers that are just impossible. Because sometimes people have done everything they can think to do and walking away is the answer. You don't win everyone, not in complicated things, not where where world, the environment, other people get a, get a say or get a vote. And that's fine because some of these options wouldn't even be options if it weren't for all the other people involved. And so you do your best and you find somewhere to breathe. Maybe you breathe in the middle of a conversation. Maybe you breathe while driving along. Perhaps you find yourself just focusing on your breath while somebody is trying to, to give you the best customer service they know how and maybe there isn't an answer that gets you where you want to be. You might be as far as literally stranded somewhere. And once you've made your point, Just breathe, be aware of that breathing. Maybe there's something in the distance that's ple pleasant to look at and focus on. And maybe you can breathe and look at a, a wall or even your eyelids as is safe and appropriate. But if you keep your eyes open, you can come right back 
with all the energy you need, appropriate for the situation. Appropriate to help the person trying to help you or to help yourself. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care.